Six for the first time we are hearing from the Blunt County deputy wounded during a deadly traffic stop earlier this month. Deputy Shelby Eggers, you can see on crutches there, took the stand at a hearing this morning. Prosecutors say their suspect, Kenneth Wayne Dehart Jr., shot and killed Deputy Greg McCowan and wounded Deputy Eggers. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot was in the courtroom for that testimony. Vinay, what more did you learn today? Robin John, this was a preliminary hearing. A judge ruled the case had enough evidence to move to a grand jury. We expect that'll happen in April, but it was the first time we heard from the deputy who started the traffic stop. Still wounded from that shooting 12 days ago, Deputy Shelby Eggers recalls the night she thought she would die. I took a breath and I accepted death because I thought he was going to fire at me again. The man accused of shooting her sat feet away. He could have shot me back in the head. I thought he was going to kill me. Eggers walked the court through the traffic stop that killed Deputy Greg McCowan and wounded her. Courtroom deputies wore McCowan's badge number on their morning bands. Eggers says she pulled Kenneth Wayne Dehart Jr. over because he left his lane when she started talking to him. Maybe upset or nervous about something because he was continually talking. She says she smelled marijuana and asked him to get out of the car. He was not very happy about it. He became more defiant, I guess, defensive. McCowan, at Eggers' request, joined as backup and used his taser on Dehart. Dehart watched the portion of the video where prosecutors say he shot at deputies. Um, I didn't know where I had been shot in the leg. I just felt pain in my right thigh. I knew it was somewhere in my thigh. During the hearing, attorneys argued over whether the shooting was first degree murder. The attorney general showed this video of Dehart shooting at McCowan when he was already on the ground. The defendant opens the door of his car, sticks his gun at a helpless man on the ground and pulls the trigger. The TBI agent testified Dehart told her he regretted turning down Sevierville Road before the life-changing traffic stop. And that same TBI investigator also testified Deputy McCowan suffered two gunshot wounds, one to his right side and the other to his left lower abdomen. She also says TBI agents have executed search warrants on multiple homes, cell phones, and social media accounts as part of their investigation. She says she doesn't know yet whether investigators found marijuana in the car. Today, the district attorney general says he will decide soon whether this will become a death penalty case. And if it does, it'll slow everything down. Dehart, by law, will get two death qualified attorneys to work on the case. I asked District Attorney General Ryan Desmond again today if he had decided whether this will be a death penalty case. He said two words. Stay tuned. John Robin. Vinay, thank you.